What's good, y'all? What's going on, guys? Mikel Bennett here, a.k.a. The Credible. So, in this live today, what I want to talk about is I want to say thank you to each and every single one of you guys who took the time out to help me get to 30,000 followers, right? Each and every single one of y'all that took the time out to hit the like button, to hit the share button, to hit the um the follow button, right? Especially the share button because you recognize that this is life-changing information that we share on our pages and you took the time out to share it to the people that you care about because you understand that the information that's being shared can help somebody get to the next level in life, right? So typically when people hit milestones and shit like that, they want to brag about it, right? But really what I want to show you guys today is that if you've been following me for some time now, you know, about a year ago, I actually lost my entire page, right? And I had to build my entire page back from scratch. So that's why I'm so thankful that you guys were able to help me to do that because I couldn't do it by myself, right? I understand that. So today what I want to do is I want to highlight some of the some of the testimonials that we've been able to create by building this platform. You guys allowing me to be on this platform and be myself and share my message has been able to help us create so many testimonials and help so many people. I mean, I, I want to say I didn't ever expect this, but I, I, this is what I want to do. I want to be able to help people. I want to be able to impact people because I just felt like when I was coming up in the entrepreneurship game, there was really not a lot of people putting their hand out saying, here, let me help you out. And if they were saying here, help you out, a lot of times they didn't have the right information, right? So, you know, a lot of the things that we teach and we share is all based on personal experience, right? Because there's been things that we have bought and we purchased and the information was inaccurate. So... I didn't fret. I just went and did it so I could find out for myself so that when I give y'all the game, I'm giving you the game based on my experience, not something that I, that I, is like theory or something that somebody else passed on to me, right? So let me read some of the testimonials that we've been able I got like 10 or 15 here. I'm going to read some of the testimonials, right? And then right after I'm done reading the testimonials, I'm going to move into the five moves that you need to make in order to reach financial freedom. And this isn't theory once again, right? These exact moves help me to basically, I haven't worked a job in like seven, eight years. And this year I've been able to retire my wife and we've been able to make more income than we've ever been able to make ever, right? In a really short amount of time. So I know that these moves work. If you apply them to yourself, they'll definitely help you to get to the next level. So stay tuned, okay? So one of the first testimonials, um, here we go. Somebody said that they got approved for a 25K Navy. Actually, it was 20K Navy Federal card. If you go to my wife's page, you can see that she has a video showing you how to get your first 25K credit card, right? And the reason why we made that video, because that's where we both got our first 20K credit cards from Navy Federal. She got one and I got one as well, right? So imagine being able to bring another $45,000 in OPM into your household. That is life changing, right? So that's why we made that video. And one of the people actually commented and said that she got approved for the 20K card. And in return, they raised her Amex limit by 11K. So that's 31K in one day, okay? That's one testimonial. Here's another one. I'm from the finance industry, but to have 16 plus a 16 plus vet from the banking industry give you jewels regularly and the course you and Mikkel have put together have been life-changing. I was about to give up on building business credit or fixing my personal credit, but you two have made it inform informative, humorous, and motiva motivating. I wish I had tripped across either of you about six months ago, right? Life-changing information. What's going on, Brandon? How you doing, man? How you living? It's a blessed day for me, man. I'm <coughs> um, getting over a little cold too, right? So here we go. Um, I know a lot of you guys might have came across my video where I talked about um, credit cards that you can get with no hard inquiry, right? And shit, do I have my wallet down here? Yeah, I do. I like to always make sure I, hello wife, I like to make sure I got my wallet because they got a lot of trolls that be like, oh yeah, you know, personal credit has nothing to do with business credit. Then why the hell do I have so many business credit cards? Why do I have so much business credit, right? This is a full stack. This is a full stack. This is half, half of them is missing. Half of them is missing. <clears throat> okay, so this card right here, right? Capital on tap, right? This was probably like my third business credit card that I ever got. 
and they gave me a twenty thousand dollar limit, right? So I post about it all the time to let people know how to get approved, let people know that this card even exists, that you they're not gonna pull give you a hard pull on your credit report. So this is gonna allow you to keep getting more business credit because it's not gonna be reporting on your personal credit. The hard inquiry isn't gonna be hurting your personal credit. I mean, it's just so many damn bonuses, right? Do I have to go through them all? <coughs> Anyways, I talk about this card a lot. And somebody commented on that actual post and said, thank you for the lick. I got 40K with capital on tech. Thank you for the lick. 40K. The bull got double of what I got, right? So a lot of people are like, oh, what would it take to get this? Bro, fix your personal credit. Fix your personal credit. Fix your finances. Make sure everything is in order. Get an LLC. Do it the right way. Like a lot of times we do things the way that we think. And what it takes is you got to like rewire your mind. All the things that you thought you knew and the things that all of these people out here telling you and X, Y, and Z, you need to unlearn all of that shit and learn from somebody who you want to learn from all the way. Because if I'm teaching you shit, I don't give a fuck what boy over there told you because that's going to mess up the game. If you want the results that I've been proven to be able to get for myself and for others, just follow the blueprint. Don't ask me no questions. Just follow the blueprint, right? The people that I've worked with that are the most successful, they don't ask me shit. They just be like, all right, how do I do it? And that right there is music to my ears. That's one of the that's one of the number one ways to maximize your potential <coughs> is to become intentional about it and then keep seeking answers. Ask questions. Keep asking the right questions. Those are the most successful people I've ever worked with. They don't question nothing. They just do it. We literally took a chick uh, about two weeks ago. We worked with her for about two weeks, right? And we were able to help her generate, I don't even know, maybe five grand a week. So that's going to put her at 20000 a month by just following the instructions, right? So um, this person hit a $40,000 lick. So let me get to another testimonial. Three collections and one student loan gone. Best DIY course in the world. So boy inboxed me and said, I just removed the student loan from my account with what you showed me. And not, on, not only was it a student loan account, he had three other collections with it. Right? So you know when you got a collection and there's a balance on it or whatever, right? And they say, okay, you need, um, you got to pay $500 off of this or whatever to get this off of your report. I just got out the shower. I'm sweating like crazy. Yo. So look, look, look. Oh, oh, oh. I'm hot, y'all. Hold on. Ugh. I'm hot. Throw me a bottle of water. Coach, put me in. You know what I mean? Look, look, look. All right, 5K a week. She's in credit, bro. She's in credit. We took a person that has a credit repair business, and we had her unlearn everything that she, she thought she knew. And we taught her our process, right? <clears throat> and she could be making... That's only in two weeks of working with us, right? She's only getting started, right? So when she gets to the spot where... When she gets to get through all of the information that we need to teach her, and when she starts applying it on a regular basis consistently, she's going to be making like $50,000 a month. Easy. Easy. All right? So... When you have a balance on those collections, I mean, like, that's money that you owe. And if you don't pay it off, it's not going to be removed off of your credit report. But if you're able to understand how credit repair works and how to remove those negative items, <coughs> that debt, you, you're not paying that debt, right? Oh, the heater's on. Okay. <coughs> Damn, and it's on max. <coughs> Damn, Dom, you got me. Whoa. Okay. So, another testimonial. Here we go. Your 100K business credit bundle is worth every dime. Your process worked. My score went up a few points. Um, someone said, the results. Okay, but just to have them removed so it gets rid of the third factor. Okay, so they, they had hard inquiries on their credit report that they were able to remove, right? And the boy said it just it took three days, just like you said. I need you or Dominique to share this information. I have more results coming, right? It's not about 30,000 followers. It's about the 30,000 people we've been able to impact and get this information in front of, okay? I've been doing this shit with like 100 followers. I don't care. 
I do this shit on YouTube, right? I don't care. Yeah, I just turned it off. It's oh, so hot. Like, dang. All right. Here we go. So right now, guys, let me let me plug real quick. Right now, because of the 30K follower celebration, what I'm doing is I have a course that is called the Five Days to Freedom course, right? It's a recording of a mentorship that we did. And it's actually a recording of my last two mentorships, okay? So basically, imagine having a living room conversation with me for five days. And I'm going to tell you what you need to do. Having a conversation with my wife, who's one of the craziest marketers I've ever met. She knows graphic designs. She knows how to make websites. She knows how to build funnels. She knows email copy, sales copy. She knows how to create stickers. She knows how to do print-on-demand drop shipping. She knows how to create a brand on Shopify. I can create playing cards. I playing cards. Workbooks. Workbooks. Actual books. So the crazy thing is one of the recordings is from last November, right? <coughs> Sorry, I'm a little sick. Last November, right? And one of, well, a few of, but one of our youngest students inside of that mentorship, I was watching it over the other day, and he was like, yo, I'm going to be our prodigy. I'm just going to take all of this stuff that I'm learning from you and Dom, and I'm apply it to myself. Now, he has multiple businesses, right? He has, um, he has a financial education program that is in the school systems in Georgia, right? But not only that, like the things that he's done, he was able to get over 50K in funding in less than five months. He got his own program helping younger kids or younger adults learn how to get access to funding. And that's his market, right? Because we teach him how to niche down, right? But um, it's not really about all of the things that he was personally able to do. It's like the... All of his friends now, they all are into financial literacy. They're all into digital products. They're all into cryptocurrency and passive income and insurance and taxes and all the shit that we should have been on since we was young boys, but it just seemed to go right past our head. They're already focused on, right? And they're taking it a step further by taking it back to the youth. By taking it back to the youth. See, a lot of y'all is crabs in the bucket. Y'all trying to get the information and, and keep it for yourself? For what? My whole house is filled with whiteboards. Like, literally. Hold on, let me see. My whole house is whiteboards. So that when you walk in, you're going to get the game just by walking in. You can't run away from the game. If you don't want the game, get out. <laughs> get out. His Instagram is Big House Key. Or, no, 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 it's Yo House Key. Um, yeah, Yo House Key, I believe it is. Search my page, you might find him in something. I might have tagged him or something like that. I'll probably throw up a video with him um, later on today as well. Um, let's see. So here's somebody that was in our Five Days to Freedom mentorship. They said, I, I learned so much about credit today just listening to you guys. And it wasn't even the credit day, LOL. Right? And um, that's someone that is an um, underwriter. Oh, wow. Yo, so that person is the, a commercial real estate underwriter, and he came in and he learned about credit from us, right? So um, somebody here, wow, I got 10 inquiries removed from my Equifax report in 24 hours. That was quick, and my Equifax score went up 34 points, sitting at a 716 now. Impact, right? Impact. Someone else on the Navy Fed play. Yes, it works. I'm happy with my outcome from Navy Federal. In the short time of at least 30 days, yay, I'm, but I'm still smiling. So they didn't get 20K, but they happy with what they got, right? And that's all that matters. Like, everybody isn't going to get 20K. Somebody asked me, or I seen somebody ask Dom, like, um, how much do you think Navy Fed is going to give me with X, Y, Z? How the fuck will we know? Like, we don't work at Navy Fed. The only thing that we can tell you is if you structure out your credit report and max it out as much as you can, you're going to get the highest limit you can get. Like, that they're willing to give you. There's so many factors, like how you fill out your application. Do you have a job? Do you do direct deposit? So when I first got approved, <coughs> I got 18K. And my wife got, I believe, 20 off the rip. But she had direct deposit. So I could sit there and say, okay, well, that makes sense. Not anymore. Right. So it's all about being able to just keep on adding to your profile so that you can increase your, your limits. But I'm not going to be able to tell you that. You know what I'm saying? That's why everything that I teach you is about being able to do for yourself, being able to think for yourself. 
you know, when I'm struggling as an entrepreneur, there's I can't just call my mom and dad and be like, mom, dad, like, help me out. Like, nah, I got to think for myself. That's why everything is they basically tell, just teaching you. They tell you to get a job. Yeah, they probably would tell me to get a job, right? But that's crazy, right? So, let's see. Good morning. I followed your Apple credit card video and got approved. So blessed I found you. That's another testimonial. You guys are my favorite to follow. I follow others and try their methods and no results, but yours work the best. More impact. Um... Oh, I love this testimonial right here. So, your credit bundle is the best I've ever experienced. I have heard and seen some of the other shiny objects presented, but you and Dominique have been consistent, concise, and extremely informative. I am a nerd, so I will study it until it becomes attached to my DNA. So, I have your lessons on autopilot. More impact, right? Um, let me go to the next slide. And I just got these up here on my, um. let me see. I got them on my computer. I'm just reading them off, all the screenshots. Um, here we go. Here's a guy that we helped out. Damn, this works for real. Wasn't lying. I did this Saturday, and it only took four days to come off. And what did he get removed? He had a bunch of collections, negative items, and inquiries, okay? Um, my credit is looking good. It, it has moved up almost 20 points since we've talked trying to do as much as I can to keep it moving, right? I love seeing people just in the process of their journey. You know, there's so many times I remember when I first looked at my credit report and I did my first dispute and I got my first results. <clears throat> I remember that. That's why I can relate when people get these small wins. It's not always about the big win. Y'all always trying to go for the home run. You can't hit a home run every time. Sometimes you got to hit a bunt. You mean hit a button, help somebody else out, and then you keep moving. Absolutely, you can use a line of credit to pay off another line of credit. Um, what I would say is to, like, that's why you need to get access to the five days to freedom challenge because you don't want to use funding to pay off other funding. You don't want to get into debt to pay off other debt. You want to learn how to make more money, right? I've been making money online since I was 23 years old. I'm 30 three about to be or some shit like that right so 10 years so i actually only got into credit and, and funding only about two years ago because that was the missing piece to help me to scale but to be able to live and be able to understand like make a lot of money it wasn't credit that i needed to make a lot of money is what i'm going to break down to you guys in the next five minutes um the the steps that you need to reach financial freedom okay so buenos dias i'm not spanish so Buenos dias. I just wanted to share the good news. Two of the three... Oh, snap. I almost dropped that. Two of the three charged off accounts have been removed. All right, let me hold this here. Two of the three charged off accounts have been deleted this morning, right? That's more results. Charge offs is hard as shit to get off. So being able to get those charge offs off of your credit report is going to help you tremendously. And I remember this person because right after that, they went and got approved for 5K from Discover. So you see what happens, right? When you clean off your credit report, you get more approvals. Simple. Uh, this testimonial here is too long for me to read. <coughs> Here's one of the members inside of our Facebook group. So when you purchase any of our programs, courses, or anything like that, you'll get um, invited to our private Facebook group called Let's Talk Business with the Bennett's. Here's one thing. When you go and you um, you know, you you go and try to get into the group and you request to join the group, make sure you fill out all of the questions because we're not gonna let you in. Like you gotta tell us what email you use, what product you purchase, so that us or our assistant can go double check and make sure you're really who you is. Right? Like we're not playing games with y'all. Um So yeah, here's one of the members. Equal facts and experience remove all hard inquiries. Just wait in. Just waiting on TransUnion. Now I'm focusing on deleting the negative accounts, right? I'm so thankful for you guys. I was at a 525 three weeks ago. <coughs> Today I'm at a 620. After applying the sauce, y'all taught me. This is just the beginning. We're taking people from the 500s to the 600s in a blink of an eye, okay? In a couple of weeks. That is going to change somebody's entire life, guys. Do you understand the amount of opportunities that open up to you when you have good credit? 
Do you understand the limited opportunities that you have available to you when you don't have good credit, right? Okay. Here's somebody else. I did the late night Navy Fed hack, got 25K. Come on now, is it like that? I'm buying this next. I got 13 hard inquiries deleted and two negative accounts. <coughs> so that's somebody just saying, I guess they were going to buy our business credit bundle next because they bought their personal credit bundle and they started cleaning their shit up. It's simple like that. We give you guys so many options for wherever step of the journey you're at. Like, if your personal credit is bad and that's like the number one thing you want to tackle, we got a course for you to do it. If your personal credit is good, you feel like you don't need to look at your personal credit, you mastered that already, you just need the, the steps on getting business credit, we got a course for business credit only. But then we take it a step further <coughs> where if you need both of those things, if your personal credit is shot, but you still want to know the steps and the process to get business credit, that's what our funding essentials bundle is there for, right? And on top of it, we throw an LLC setup masterclass in there. Guys, do you know that there's people online that sell LLC setups for like $500, $600? Imagine if you was doing $500 or $600 every day. 500 times 30, that's 15. So you would be making $15,000 if you just were created a business out of helping people create their LLCs. And it's not about, you know, most... We don't do any of the service. We just teach people the skill set because throughout my whole life of entrepreneurship, my brothers, cousins, anybody comes over to my house, we'll set up their LLC. We'll get them set up. We'll make their website. We'll do all those things. Get them a business bank account. So instead of us doing it as a service, we're like, mm, let's just teach people how to do this because they can make it into a service if they want. If they have the mind and the capacity, like when I learned credit, the whole time I was like, oh, shit, this could be a business for me. Everybody credit shot. Everybody need an LLC. And it's not even sometimes like me. Like, <clears throat> I can create an LLC, but my wife knows how to do all that stuff at the back of her hand. So, like, literally, if I'm like, yo, Dom, we need to create a new business for us and the kids or whatever, she'll make it like that, right? But you guys can take that same information and start a business out of it. Like, if I needed to create an LLC, I ain't doing it myself. You feel me? There's a lot of other people out there that ain't going to do it themselves. They waiting on you. So that's in there for free. Okay? Here we go. Creative Technician. One of the best cor courses I've ever purchased. And the app, the app helps me to locate everything to perfection. Guys, I didn't even realize up until last week when my wife showed me, our courses have an app. So you can have it saved on your home screen on your phone. So you ain't never got no excuse not to get through this information. You have no excuse for you not to learn this information to pass it on to your kids. Everybody know what's going on with Kanye. Everybody know what's going on with Kyrie. But don't nobody know what's going on with TransUnion Experian and Equifax. Nobody know what's going on with Chase. Nobody know what's going on with Amax. Right? everybody know what's going on in everybody else's life. Like, I really try my hardest to not pay attention to things on social media because it's just a distraction. <clears throat> All of these things you see, they're just distractions from you being able to focus on the things that you need to be focused on, okay? Here we go. One account, five inquiries removed from TransUnion. So that was the chick. That's crazy. That was the chick who said that she got equal facts and Experian cleaned, but she was just work, waiting on TransUnion. So then she updated us a couple days later, or um, maybe an hour or something, and it said one account and five inquiries removed from TransUnion. So now she got all of those negative items removed from TransUnion. Now she can continue working on any any other things that she needs to, maybe she needs to um, rebuild her credit report and add some more primaries. She said, once I, once I touch 720, I will start applying for business credit. So, yeah, you've got to have to build. She said she started fixing her credit in mid-August. And she went up 134 points and still counting. So, that was about two months, I guess. Oh, that was, a, that was a gentleman. That was a gentleman. That's another person. Wow. So, I started fixing my credit mid-August. I want to give a big shout-out to you guys. Thank you. 134 points and still counting. Once I hit 720, I will apply for business credit. I am a business owner. Okay. And this morning, somebody got 
don't put me on camera because I'm making one. But somebody, uh, somebody from our group posted this morning that she got like four inquiries off from Equifax, and then she got like all of her personal information updated too. Wow. And here's somebody that said, I'm just going to leave this here and go to bed. And they dropped the uh, application. They got approved for 5K from Discover. Let me actually see if I can show y'all. Eh, yeah, y'all can kind of see. But yeah, person got approved for 5K. This is all day long, guys. All day long. That's why I'm so, uh, I'm so thankful that you guys even allow me to share this platform with you guys. Every single time one of y'all hit the follow, hit the like, hit the share, I appreciate it. And I've been appreciating it. Um, so just bought the course and got all of the inquiries from Experian and TransUnion off. It took three days. Three days, okay? Here's another one. Somebody said, 15K all because of you in my wife's inbox. Um, hey, um, somebody said, one attempt and they're all gone. Y'all are the truth. EIN numbers? What do you, what do you mean EIN numbers? Ask me a more specific question. Um, here's another person who got approved for the Amex Gold with no preset limit. Now, how those work, they do have limits, but you won't know until you hit it. Like, until you use the card. Yeah, you got to use the card, and then you'll know what your limit is, right? And here's you gotta, another. You got to use the card and pay it back. <coughs> Can you stop sidelining? If you want to be <laughs> on, then please. I'm here. My please stop sidelining, please. Uh, so... Here's another person that got one, two, three. They got five medical collections deleted from their credit report. Five medical collections now. You, that was me with the gold. Okay, you with the gold. Okay, let them know, man. Let them know, man. The the sauce works, man. I'm just so happy that another person like it's. It's kind of mind blowing to me sometimes, like to just see all of these people that I never knew. And I'm able to impact them. I absolutely love it. Like, I'm walking in my purpose. And I ain't going to stop doing it. Um, here's the last testimonial I'm going to read. Man, I don't know who's better, you or God. <laughs> nah, man, all jokes aside, damn, you are a blessing. I would say hard work pays off, but it wasn't hard. You are a genius. I'm not a genius. You know what I mean? I'm not a genius. But what I am is I just tell my own story. You feel me? Like, I'll... If I don't know the answer, I don't know the answer. I'm not going to sit here and act like I know the answer. But what I can do is I can seek for the answer for you because I want to know the answer. Okay? <coughs> documentation beats conversation. I know you're not sidelining again. Oh, my God. Sit down. No. Documentation beats conversation. Yo, every comment, time. Dom. Sit down. Comment, Dominique. Sit down. Dominique, sit down. Sit down. Oh, oh, damn. I could have. And you didn't put a filter on. You look fine. <laughs> she wilding out. All right, y'all. So, look. Now that I read off these testimonials and I've said thank you numerous times for you guys helping me to get to 30,000 followers. Like I said, if you're new on here, I've been on Instagram now for probably like 10 years or whatever. But I actually got my entire account deleted last year at around 12,000 followers right before our wedding. Right. And to be at 30,000 followers today is mind blowing to me. And once again, I appreciate every single person that hit the like Every single person that hit the follow, every single person that hit the share, because you understand that this information can help the next person, right? It's not about us. It's not even about you. It's about the community as a whole, okay? So, now that I read off those testimonials, what I'm going to do is break down the five steps for you guys to get to financial freedom. Once again, this is not theory, because I've been working at this for the last 10 years. Plus years. Ten plus years. My very first business was an ice cream truck. And I'm so thankful that I started that business and failed that business because it, it allowed me to get punched in the face early. See, a lot of entrepreneurs want to know how can they get to the destination they want to get to fast. <coughs> get your ass whooped. Get beat up. Yeah. Right? Get beat up. If you need to get business credit, just click the link, get access to my 100K business credit bundle. That's going to show you all of the steps that you need to take to get access to business credit. If your personal credit isn't good, I would recommend getting our funding essentials bundle right now. Because it's a weekend sale, so you're <coughs> going to get the personal DIY credit essentials bundle, and then you're going to get the business credit bundle as well, plus you're going to get the business set up masterclass for free. So go and get that. Yes. So once again, like I said, this is in theory. I was able to basically... 
quit my nine to five personally about six, seven years ago. And just um, in this May, we've been able to retire my wife and literally make way more money than we've ever made in our entire life. Why? Because our focus changed, right? We've been developing the skill sets and like the mental that we needed over the past 10 years. But at the end of the day, there's always going to be, if you're not where you want to be, it's only because of a lack of information or a lack of execution. The reason why we felt with lack of execution was because Dominique wasn't able to work all the time. She was working on her job. Yeah, so I literally just posted about this too. Like all of my brain power, like if you have a full-time job or you have a job period that takes your mind, like my job was very complicated. I was in commercial real estate, so I was dealing with numbers. I was talking to people all day long. I was constantly, you know, talking to all kinds of people all day long and using my brain to figure out problems and do, you know, math and things like that. And like, it takes a toll on you. Then I was driving an hour plus home every single day, right? So mm -hmm. all of my brain power was being used up at my job every single day. So by the time I came, so like, this is how like my schedule would go. I'd get up, make sure I got my one kid to daycare, make sure the one kid got on the bus. I would drive an hour to go to work, an hour away, work all day, leave there, sit in traffic, drive home, pick up my youngest from daycare, go home, rush and make food or pick up food, put the kids, you know, get the kids ready for bed, do homework, all that stuff. And then I would literally go in the basement and work on my business because this is what I want. This is what I ultimately wanted to do. I didn't want, I didn't see myself being at my job full time forever, right? And it was really difficult because I loved my job. So it didn't get to the point for me to actually like, be like, okay, I'm done to the point. It got when I was like, okay, like I can't do this anymore. Like I had like a mental breakdown where I was like, this is too much. Like I'm answering emails at all hours of the day to people that don't do anything for me. They don't pay me, the bank pays me, but the bank wasn't paying me near what I deserved to get paid, right? Like we're, none of us are getting paid what we deserve to get paid until you can pay yourself. That's the only way that you can get paid what you deserve. Um, and yeah, it just came down to that. So then I left there and now we've been working on our business and all of my brain power goes into our business. Right. So it's a lack of information. Mm -hmm. You won't be able to seek the information if you're too tired or you're too burnt out. You're not going to have the motivation to seek it. Right. Either. And you're not going to have the motivation to execute on the things that you learn if you're too tired or not fully focused. Right. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, this is not theory. This is things that we worked on for years and it came into fruition. <coughs> Man. <clears throat> All right. Did you finish that? Yeah. So what it takes for you to reach financial freedom, the very first thing that you need is you need a mindset makeover, right? You need a millionaire mindset makeover. And I'm talking about a millionaire mindset makeover, right? All of the things that you thought that you knew about business and about just like making money in general, a lot of it is outdated. A lot of people are trying to make money last decade, right? Things are changing so rapidly fast. And if you're not catching it, you're going to miss out. Like your kids are going to be way richer than you for sure. And a lot of people are listening to the wrong people at the same time when it comes to making money. Cause like I said earlier to Mikhail, like if Mikhail went to his parents and said, Hey, like I, you know, I have a question about entrepreneurship. They're going to be like, well, just go get a job. Like that's going to solve the problem. You know, like, just go get a job. You don't even have to think about it then. Right. And that's what most parents do, you know, like unless if they, have already set up for success for their family. Right. And that's what, exactly like what we're trying to do for ourselves and what we're trying to do for other people as well. Like it needs to end with you, yes. right? Like it needs to end with your generation. You need to make the change in your family so that your kids are set up for success so that they have businesses that they can run. So if they want to go to college and they mm -hmm. want to be a doctor or whatever, they can go and do that, but then they're going to come out of there and they're going to run their own practice. You know what I mean? Like it's, you have to get the knowledge now and break that generational curse now mm -hmm. or nobody's going right. to. So the very first thing that I would say for you guys to do is to, when you are working on your mindset, create a vision board. I tell people this all the time. Create a vision board, put it in front of your bed, and put all the put exactly how much money look, you want. Look how make. many people hop off the live because we talk about vision boards because they think it's a joke. I'm telling you right now, what? it is not a joke. No, I, I'm, I'm right. watching it because look, people are hopping off because they the, don't. Vision boards freaking work. Okay. Right. So get yourself a vision board and do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Um, the next thing you want to do is solidify your financial foundation. And that's going to be learning how to become your own bank with credit <coughs> or with business credit, right? <clears throat> you have to learn how to fund yourself. And it's pretty much as simple as fixing up your personal credit. And a lot, we have to realize we have to be patient. You know, people will go years with bad credit, but expect credit to be fixed in a few weeks. It don't always work like that. We got to be realistic. And if you're talking about a millionaire mindset, what millionaire is going to think that those type of results are going to happen that fast? Something so powerful as far as credit that can allow you to invest into anything that you want, change your whole life, change your whole generation, start living in different places, driving different cars, vacationing different, sending your kids to different schools, getting them the resources that they need. Not that you can that you can afford the resources that they need, right? We have a kid, one of our children has um he's on the spectrum. He has autism, right? He needs he needed a what is it? The the little the therapy, occupational therapy, a weighted blanket, little things that could, could that little things that we needed to purchase that would help him in his journey. Now he's exceeding all of the things because we got him the help that he needed early, mm -hmm. early in the things that he needed. Right? We were we one. Su we supported him and we got the him support. The fact that I even had the time to be able to take him to these places that he needed to go, because mm -hmm. I'm not sharing and trading my time for nothing, mm -hmm. and then being able to have the finances to do it. <coughs> so solidify your financial foundation. Three. Learn a high income earning skill set, okay? Now, that sounds cliche, but it's the truth. So, you know, a lot of people know me as the credit bull, but my highest earning income skill set is probably understanding digital marketing and understanding sales, right? I could go into anybody's business. Like we told you, we helped this lady who's in the credit business completely take her credit repair business down to from wherever it was and rebuilt the whole thing. And she makes sales in her sleep and she's charging double, double, right? So you want to learn sales. You yeah, wanna, we'll save it. You want to learn marketing. And there's a few other skill sets like, you know, being able to do digital products and things like that, being able to write. So inside of our um, Five Days to Freedom, we teach you about four different skill sets. <laughs> Either you go and learn how to create, you could... You're going to learn credit. You're going to learn business credit. You're going to learn how to create an LLC. And then <coughs> we actually had our tax expert come on, right? Tax expert. And he held a class. We created a business and a product out of that class on day five. Mm -hmm. Literally live. We took the class that he made for us, teaching us credit, and created him, I mean, taxes. teaching us taxes. And we created a whole class live. and a product live based on the, pro the that one class that he did. How would your life change if you could create something out of thin air today? How would your life change if you can make money out of thin air today? And it, yeah, and it's literally not just, <coughs> it's not making something just to make something. It's making something that's going to change somebody's life. It's going to make a difference in somebody's life. Giving them, because there's something within each and every one of you, no matter what you're doing right now or skills that you have, even if it's something as simple as Excel. Do you know how many people don't understand Excel? Me, I don't. Right? There's a lot of people that are in the corporate world that know Excel, but they don't think that it's valuable because everybody in the corporate world And they're in, knows they're Excel, out there you know? in there making $60,000 a year in the corporate world yep. where they could take that same skill set and make 60000 a month by themselves. And I could sit here and tell you how to do that, but I'm not going to do that. It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. So learn high income earning skill sets. Not saying that the skill sets I have are the most um, high income earning, but they're not a lot of people have them and they're very valuable to have. You can implement them into any business. That's why um, on one of my most recent posts, I say, you want to be in the B2B marketplace. Mm -hmm. If you're dealing with these consumers, mm -hmm. consumers be broke as shit. Mm -hmm. Like, and you're trying to get them to pay you for something they already know they need. Mm -hmm. It's like, why am I? I'm, don't waste your time. I mean, it's good to start because, like I said, the easiest way to get to where you want to go is get beat up or learn from somebody who got beat up and then they'll tell you what to do. Mm -hmm. Right? It's like a trainer in boxing. They're going to tell you not to stand like that, not to punch like, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's what I'm going to do for you, right? <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. 
All right. I would like one, but it's cool. So the next skill set you want to learn is how to market in a way that customers start hunting you down with their credit card in their hand ready to buy your shit. This is something I learned a long time ago, right? And when you um, lead with value, right, actually care about the people. Like, I took a whole week off to learn um, some consumer law stuff so that I could teach it to my community. I don't have anything on my credit that I need to remove anymore. I don't. Ha she don't got nothing on her credit she need to remove anymore. So why did we take that whole weekend to study credit again for the people? Yeah, we wanted to make it better because, like, we're always striving to be better, to be better people. Mm -hmm. to be better within our relationship like all areas like be better parents like if you are not learning you're dying absolutely and there's so many different ways that you can learn in your life you know absolutely business personal doesn't matter what it is mm. all right so that was not cold so I it's not it's good make you cough. so what you want to do is you want to become more findable so get your behind on youtube stop hiding get on youtube y'all some of the best people we've ever came in contact with have found us on YouTube, right? And they'll come to us with their credit card in hand because they got to experience us for a long period of time on YouTube. Like, they get to sit there. I make videos in my living room. Mm -hmm. Let's sit in my living room. I tell you, like, if you sit in my living room for, for about, uh, let's say, like, three days... You're leaving with a six-figure, like, we have, month. We have friends that come over here just because they want to be around us and learn from us, you know? Like, they come around here and they just sit here and, like, want to have conversations. Like, the people that come here, we end up starting businesses with them or we're consulting with them. Like, our friends, you know? And the people that don't come around here, they're just not interested in that. And that's cool. You're still my friend, but, you know. If you don't know your purpose... Oof. DM me, DM me, and I can maybe send you something that might be able to help you um, find it. Because I don't know what to do. Like, I, I well, you got to keep seeking. It's hard. Yeah, it's really difficult to pin pinpoint that until you're in the trenches, right. honestly. And then you kind of figure out, like, you want to make a list of the things that you want to do and the thi or things that you like to do and things that you don't like to do. And those things that you don't like to do, that's automatically going to cross out a bunch of things. And right? an another thing is, fail fast. Yeah. You know, experiment a lot. That's, well, I mean, depending on how old you are, like when I was like 24, I learned that concept to like fail fast and experience a lot. Yeah. So I would try everything. I've done drop shipping. I've done a, a niche store. I've done a general store. We even did Forex for a I, little bit. I've done everything, done everything to find out what is my purpose. Mm -hmm. I've done everything. And it wasn't like we were trying everything to make money quick. We were trying to figure out what we truly enjoyed doing mm -hmm. because we knew that our, we figured out that our purpose was teaching other people. We figured out that people really liked, you know, how right. we teach and they liked who we were as people. And that's what we always wanted to do. So we just needed to figure out, okay, what are we going to teach? What mm -hmm. do the people need? Yeah. Because, and it wasn't until we needed credit for ourselves because we both screwed <coughs> up our credit, like pretty much everyone has. And it wasn't until we learned how to fix our own credit and then we were like, yo, like we need to do this for other people. Like if it's right. this simple, like other people can do this, you know, because mm -hmm. um, we're not geniuses. We just literally seek information <laughs> right. and apply the information. And that's exactly how we teach it to other people, too. Yeah. We literally teach it to you so that it makes sense and it's easy mm -hmm. because like there's people out there that are going to use big words and things that are confusing. And that's something that I don't know if you read that in the testimonies, but that's something that somebody actually specifically said, like, I love that you don't use big words and that you really like dumb it down for people so that mm -hmm. it makes sense. And that's important when you're mm -hmm. teaching, you know? Mm -hmm. So but yeah, that's with finding your purpose. Right. You're, you're going to get there. You definitely want to fail. Failure is, can be scary, but failure is a good thing when you're an entrepreneur because it's going to allow you to figure out the things that don't work like okay mm -hmm. if, if you fail and you you know don't make any sales okay why didn't i make any sales like that's the cool thing about being an entrepreneur is everything you is figure outable mm -hmm. right if you fail at something you can really diagnose and analyze the information and figure out why you failed become the king of the pivot yeah like you just have to learn how to pivot like not even that long ago, Mikhail and I had put together a product that we um, were trying to sell, and it failed because we were listening to the wrong people at the time, right? And it failed. We didn't sell any. 
And that's just me being completely transparent. And like Mikhail and I weren't like, I mean, we were kind of like, damn, like, but we were like, why? Why? You know, like, why? Keep seeking and the answer. And we didn't like say, oh, I'm done. Like, I'm done with all this. Like, I'm, I'm canceling my Instagram. Like, I'm done. Like, no, like, we're not going to give up. We're going to be like, okay, why? Why didn't that work? And we're very informational seeking people. So like, we love to research everything. That's why I know how to do so much because mm -hmm. We had an assistant, okay, that was an expert, and she taught me so much. But I wasn't constantly seeking. I was paying her $1,000 a month, but I was not constantly seeking her for help. Mikhail would be like, just ask her. And I'm like, no, I want to figure it out myself because I'm the type of person, like, yeah, I was spending $1,000 a month for this person to help teach me, but I'm the person that I need. I want to go figure it out myself. I want to trial and error and figure it out myself because it makes me feel better. But then I have it in me. Like, I know this is not how to do it. This is how to do it. It just makes, that's just how I am. And if you're not that type of person, then entrepreneurship is going to be harder for you. Mm -hmm. And that's all the more reason why you need to get into a circle of people that you can lean on, that you can depend on. And that's what this five days to freedom, you know, that we have put together really is for. It's to create a community of people outside of the community that we already have of people that really want to change their life and to seek freedom for themselves, financial freedom, so that they can eventually have time freedom because life is meant to be lived, you know? And working a job all the time and dedicating my life to my job was not living for me. And yeah, it was something that I had to do at the time. And if I had to go back, like I would if I had to, but I'm, I'm telling you right now, I'm never gonna let that happen. That's never gonna happen. And that's what drives me every single day. Yeah, the course does turn into an app. Yeah, good. Phone. Yeah, he said he was able to. Yeah? Yeah, it's like so easy. And then it makes it so much better, you know, because I'm able to <laughs> put the app on my phone. So then when people have questions about our courses, like I gave myself access and I can just go and quick look. So it makes my life easier too. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like you just have to, it's your mindset. And I like said to Mikhail, like I used to not do as much mindset and that's what really held me back. Like I was just, Mikhail was always, you know, reading and um, seeking information and listening to other mm -hmm. people, you know, that knew more than he did. And I just felt like, okay, well you can just teach me then. And that's not how it I works. I hated that. Yeah, like, I hated it. I, I hate somebody trying to milk my brain because yeah. I don't be sitting here trying to milk other people's brains. Like when you want something from somebody, you got to really be able to give them something. Like, the law of reciprocity. That's one thing, like, I never will go to a mentor and just, like, ask them a shit ton of questions. What I'm going to do is build myself up enough so that when I come to them, I'm coming to them with value. Like, hey, this is what I can do for you. Mm -hmm. And then in return, they're going to give me gain just off of the strength. Mm -hmm. Just off of the strength. That's why I don't consult with people that... You guys got to think about it. If you spend 40 bucks or even 100 bucks with me, like, I, it's not a consultation. You feel me? He said, Mo, I'm a milker. If you're a milker, get off. Because I'm not, I'm not, like, <laughs> my consultations are $1,000 an hour. Why? Because I can make you $1,000 an hour. Like, so why would I, why would I cut myself short, right? $40 is not enough for a consultation. $40 is enough for you to get some information and learn how to apply that information yourself mm -hmm. and learn how to interpret that information to maybe even take that a step further. You think I've never purchased something from somebody else and made that shit better? Mm -hmm. Like, who really hustling out here? Mm -hmm. Everybody be out here, like, with their hands out asking for questions. Like, bro, let's get busy. Yeah. Let's go through all of the information from A to Z. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to ask him a question the fuck is y'all milking me for that shit don't make no sense yeah that's the thing like, like is you a real hustler or not because we never you know like we would buy things and we would never ask questions we were always seeking the information like we would never ask questions 40 dollars is not enough for like just to ask a shit ton of questions no no like i've invested 1500 and not ask and questions more. i've invested 10,000 and not ask questions you feel me mm -hmm. because i'm gonna take the information and i'm gonna interpret it with my brain <clears throat> That's why you gotta you gotta remake your mind first so that when things come up, your mind is ready to tackle those things, right? Or if you don't have the right mindset, you're not gonna do the things that is necessary for you to get the result that you desire, okay? So the last thing is 
buying your time back. The last, um, last of the five steps for you to reach financial freedom is buying your time back. If you're trading your time for money with a service, if you're trading your time for money with a job, you're outdated. Anything that's almost a service, you can create it into a digital product and teach. <coughs> well, let me hit that and teach other people how way. to do it, guys. Right. <laughs> so, like I said, in the five days to freedom challenge um, course on day two. Or, no, no, no. On day. Yeah. Day two. We had our tax, our tax guy mm -hmm. come on. Right. And break down things that entrepreneurs need to know about taxes, <laughs> especially <laughs> new entrepreneurs. Right. So, what we did on day five was we took that same class that he created on day two and we created a digital product out of it. A $97 digital product, right? And that's crazy because not only did he create that one digital product, we created some add-ons, like 101 tax write-offs or tax deductions that you need to know as a business owner. That was an add-on product, right? So, if he charged a $97 for, for the class... Now he could charge twenty five, thirty for the for the little add on guide, right? And on top of that, now we can add on his one on one consultations as a as an add on. Okay, so that's when that's how you buy your time back. Anybody who goes through my mentorships or anything like that, you'll realize that we're all about our time. Like we got two kids, maybe working on three, right? We love our family to death, so. It's family all day, every day, up in the morning, taking the kids to school. And we're, like, very involved with all of our family. Like, Mikhail's parents, our kids go there. I mean, we FaceTime with them every single night, right? Our kids go there every other weekend for a day. Like, they're over there every night. Like, I grew up really involved in my family. Mikhail grew up really involved with his family, and, like, that's what we've been able to provide for our kids, right? Like, we go to my dad's every Wednesday night to eat dinner. Like, my mom, my mom's around all here? the time. No, she'll be here soon. My mom's around all the time. My sister lives a few minutes away. She's here all the time. His sister comes and sleeps over and, like, hangs out. You know, like, we're all, um, like, very, very family-oriented. So and that's back. And that's why. Like, literally, like, this is a funny story, right? So, Mikhail's brother, he has a brother li that lives in Barbados, right? So, him and his friend came here for um, to visit, right? And Mikhail's mom at the time was actually home because she had a surgery. So she was home. So, like, everybody was home. We're like, yo, what are we doing this week? Like, what are we going to do while you guys are home? You know, whatever. Um, and I had said, you know, like, everybody's retired here except for, uh, for Aline, you know? <laughs> <laughs> except for Mikhail's mom, like, just clowning. <coughs> but it's, like, so funny because, like, Mikhail's dad's retired. So, like, to be able to say that and be like, wow, like, I, you're home, like, his brother's home for a week from Barbados, and we were, you know, able to spend time with him while he's here. I'm not, we're not going to work during the day, like, oh, hopefully we can meet up for dinner, and then you're not betting, you're not getting the best quality of my time, mm -hmm. you know, because I spend it all at work. Right. So it's just, you know, right. you need to figure out what's important to you and let that drive you. Right, so that is the fifth step to building, um, to getting financial freedom, right? Buying so, what back. you guys want to do right now, if you, if you're not making oh, more than 20, no, what? But wait, the what other, th no, I have a testimonial too, but, um, in the, so with the five days to freedom, we actually give you a bonus day six as well, and we teach you all of our Instagram, um, sauce, and mm -hmm. like what we do on Instagram, how we've been able to create a following on Instagram, and like how we do reels, like everything. Like, I literally walk you through how to create a reel. Mm -hmm. So, if that's something you're interested in, like that's that alone, I think right. is worth it, you know. So, like I was saying before I was interrupted, y'all, if you're making less than twenty thousand dollars a month in your business, you need to go click that link in my bio right now and get access to my five days to freedom course because we're going to show you the exact blueprint blueprint and roadmap that we followed to get to twenty thousand dollars a month plus in our businesses okay and like i said everything we like to do is digital so you're going to get access to our five days to freedom course that's a replay of our last mentorship in november mm -hmm. right and it's actually uh six days because there was a bonus day then you're going to get access to the replay of our bennett's mentorship and that's really good too. and that's really 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 in depth whereas that the people that went through that mentorship their businesses have completely taken off. They have multiple different streams based on one thing, right? Mm -hmm. They got e-commerce stores. They got digital products, physical services, <coughs> all, 
all types of shit, man. It's crazy. And then you're also going to get access to our pre-made Canva templates. All of the graphics you've ever seen on my page, even down to my logo, everything, Dominique designs them all. She's a graphic designer. So what we went ahead and did was we put together some templates for you guys to use to enhance your brand overnight. You can literally just plug in your, your words or your colors or whatever into the... You break... How's the template looks? Yes, yeah, so you can just change them up. They're really just templates that you use and you can plug in your own information, your own pictures, whatever you want. It's very simple. They got stuff on there for social media? What do you mean? Like the templates on there can be yeah, used? Yeah, like okay. Instagram. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So you're going to be able to instantly enhance your brand, right? Three products for the price of one. Actually, really like way more products. It's seventy percent off because the five days to freedom is typically a hundred dollars. Seventy percent off, and also seventy dollars off, and we throwing in two bonuses for y'all. Y'all can't say we ain't did nothing for you. Actually, the other day somebody inboxed me and asked me about a lenders list. When it comes to lenders list inside of our program, we have a hundred plus lenders that we teach you the steps on calling them and understanding what. Like what bureaus and stuff there you there's questions that you need to ask them, right? The power is inside of you. So inside of there, we actually show you that. Like how to go about that. But the thing is, you don't need a lender's list. Like you don't need a lender's list from anybody. They're they're nine times out of ten gonna be incorrect. Or out out of date. Mm -hmm. Right. So you wanna create your own stuff and this all this stuff right here, when you go through this information. And you actually understand, okay, I could become my own bank. I can learn high income skill sets. I can buy my time back. When you do those things, your life is going to change. Somebody asked me for a lender's list, and that's what I was saying. I sent him the lender's list for free. That's how much I know that they don't work that much. Whereas that you need to go do your own research. I say, hey, bro, I paid for this. Here you go. Send it right to him in the inbox. A different lenders list was it an old one it was one that i used to have like i bought oh, it i oh, bought it oh, oh, from 1500 I, it came in a 1500 dollars package and i gave it to somebody for free so i don't want to hear y'all say i don't do nothing for the people anybody need they anything know we do. i mean all if you go down through our instagram and our youtube and yes. our podcast like if you haven't listened to our podcast like you can go um i think the link is in my link tree you can go to our podcast and listen to that like that's crazy how long does it take to get some 50 score from a 500 it depends like so we did that in what like 90 days something like that like you can it really depends on what you have on your credit report can um, i answer the question yeah so the way i answer that question and no disrespect the way i answer that question is how much do you understand credit on a scale of one to ten because when you understand credit on a scale of one to ten you will probably have the belief inside of you that you can manipulate your score within 30 days because you understand credit all the way. Because if you're at a five, there's probably so many areas that you're lacking in. And the only reason you're lacking in them is because of the lack of information that you have about how to maximize those areas. Mm -hmm. So focus on credit education and then the credit score is going to rise. So you answer that question. If you act, if you say you know you're a 10, then you should be able to answer that question, sir. Yeah. If you're a um, 10, then you should be able to answer it yourself. Anyways, I only got a minute and 45 seconds. So yeah. um, if you guys need to go back and watch this video so you can hear those testimonials again so they can get you hyped, you know, because your time is coming. Yeah. Or if you need to go through this video to get those five steps to reaching financial freedom that are not theory, it's the truth. It's what we followed. Then I would rewatch this here. But if you ain't making more than twenty thousand dollars a month in your business, you're a little bit confused on this whole entrepreneurship thing because entrepreneurship can be confusing. Mm -hmm. It can be hard. It can be scary. It can be lonely. That's what the five days to freedom was created for. It's only thirty dollars for the next thirty people. I'll see you guys on the inside.